Hey, Don Copeland here with the Compress IUV 1200S, and today we're gonna do something pretty cool. This is one of those uh, triangular stand-up type of signs like you would see out in front of like a boutique store or something like that in a destination that you go to. And I'm gonna show you what we've done here. Get a little bit better view of it up here. This is actually raw wood that we printed on. As you can see, that's what the front was like. We printed this without any white ink on as an underbase. Printed it on. This is what you'd see out from the front. This is what you see out back. It's kind of cool. Just calls attention into the store. So, uh, you know, relatively inexpensive. I think we found this one at Michael's, but I'm sure you could build something like this yourself. Keep your customers just uh, something really cool looking. You know, I spend a lot of money on really good wood. Use this thin, it's like a laminate type of wood, and print it up. So, uh, let's show you how we did it. So, we have our lines printed down here. I'm gonna go ahead and load these up. I wanna make sure that I've got the tops of the signs headed towards my capping station. I'm gonna take and just align these to the white outlines. By the way, you find out a lot because I'm pretty confident in the fact that the printer prints a, a perfect rectangle. You find out pretty quick, quickly that not always all wood is cut in perfect rectangles. That looks pretty good. The good news is we have a half, an eighth of an inch extension over each side of it, which would be good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and load these up. What I like to do is because we just printed on the bed, I'm just gonna come down a little bit. I'm actually going to disconnect the bed, slide it back. That set my bed height. Make sure everything's down. Reconnect the bed, hit load. Any high spots it'll pick up with the laser, lower the bed a little bit. Probably gonna see one coming up here in a second, I would assume. There we go, just a little bit and it dropped the head just where we wanted it to. Let's go ahead and send the artwork over. So we'll show you what we did here in the software to uh, set this up to be able to print out. Just made my page blank here slightly larger than the, the sign blanks themselves. If you see here, I've drawn two sign blanks out, two outlines. If you zoom in here, you'll see, got these outlines here that are represent the outline and the shape of the sign itself. As you see, it's got a pinkish tint to it, which means I'm printing this with spot white because the mat that we have down on the bed is a black mat, so I need to be able to see that outline to be able to print it. And so what we'll do is we'll grab both of those. We're gonna print those over to the printer, the 1200S here. We're gonna print it over to the RIP and we're gonna print it to the single layer only because I'm printing this basically as a spot white so it'll print on the first layer. Send that over and I'm sending it over relative to the page blank. When I bring up the RIP itself, you'll see that's relative. That dot right there, that corner up there at the top where my mouse is, that is literally right where we're going to print from. And that's at the same point that it represented as the top left corner right here up in this corner of my sign blank. So when I come back and drop in my artwork, I'm gonna drop it exactly over top of these boxes the way I want it to, and it's gonna to print to the same spot. So we'll send over, went ahead and sent over the artwork for the outline. We're gonna go ahead and print that. We've already done that now. And we're gonna, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the artwork, which we put on another layer. So I'm gonna turn off the layer, which is the outlines. And then we have this layer, which is the artwork. And you can actually see if I turn this back on, you'll see that we're, we have actually, uh, wrong layer, we'll turn on, turn that and that, so there's a print, we're gonna turn on, on this layer, turn on, and you can see if you zoom in here, we actually have bled out just a little bit over the edge. We actually, the artwork is a quarter of an inch larger than the sign itself, and that means we get an eighth of an inch bleed all the way around, okay? We're not going to print that outline. We're just going to go ahead and print the graphics themselves, which are these right here on this layer, All right? We're going to print this layer and we're going to go ahead and send those over. Both of those are going to get sent over. Same layer that we're going to print to. Single pass that layer, 
And what we have over here is we have the actual artwork we brought over before. No need to bring it over twice. Open that up. One, two things that I did here is I did print this unidirectional. So I went into the actual driver itself. And I also wanted to turn on a highlight white. So under here, I turned the bidirectional off. So we printed unidirectional. Under my processing options, I said for the white ink, I want you to treat this as a highlight. And I want to maximize it here at 19, which is a very strong highlight. And what happens then when we actually process this job, you're actually going to see that these areas that are white, they're not actually white, they're kind of a cream color. They're going to get a light tint of white to go with the yellowish color that would give it the cream color. And mix that with the fact that the board itself is kind of a manila type of cream color as well. We get a beautiful, as you saw on the original, and as you'll see at the finish, the, the color that we get is just amazing on these without having to put a white underbase on it just by using that white highlight. So as soon as this finishes processing here, I'm going to go and show you in our raw data exactly where the white ink gets printed on here because it's not an underbase. Like I said it's a highlight. For those of you who have worked in screen printing and whatnot, you'll understand what that means. Look at our raw data. This is actually a view of what is being sent over to the printer. And now if I go in and I look at my colors, I'm going to turn all of my colors off except for white. And you may not be able to see it that well on the screen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say everything that I'm previewing, preview it as black. And as you can see, that doesn't preview as a solid black, it previews as a gray, which means we're basically getting a half tone of white mixed in to give us that, that nice pop in the light areas on the, the design. Now we're going to go ahead and send it over just by hitting click and print, and we're ready to go. And uh, let's go over and look and see what's happening on the computer, on the printer itself. So thankfully, we only have one set of this sign. and. Uh, I didn't listen to my own advice, right? I, I actually put this wood in, actually put the artwork in upside down so that the bottom of the sign is down there, which is where the screw holes are. Fortunately, it's pretty soft wood. We're just going to redo the, uh, where the screws go in. The good news is, is the print looks totally awesome. If you remember the, uh, the wood, and I'm sure that Hannah in the video can actually go back and show you a picture laying over here of what the wood looked like before we printed it. And we've turned it into this beautiful wood grain simply by printing straight on top of it. No white ink because of the color of the, uh, the raw wood was pretty light. I knew it virtually wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and white. Probably cut our ink cost down by eight or ten dollars on these two signs. The, uh, the ink cost on these two signs was just under two dollars and fifty cents. It was two dollars and forty nine cents for the ink on both of these signs, which is pretty amazing. There we go, finished up. Look at that. Say, we'll, we'll overlay in this just a picture of what the raw wood looked like, but look at this, guys. This is one pass of ink, about $1.25 for each of these signs. It was like $2.49 total. Uh, as we showed you in the software, we did a highlight white, which picked up this cream color and basically added a light white to it, which really made it pop and look just like the cream color that was in the design. And didn't have to use any white ink under the underbase, which was really amazing. So uh, this is a great way to take some uh, simple wood, print them upside down. That way, instead of being a TP, they're a U, not a V. We'll just go ahead and put the new screws in, but this is what it's going to look like. We'll get it put together here in a minute and show you, but these are the two sides. Printed these out on the Compress UV 1200S. 